want to save some money and go shopping on a spree? Do you like to organize your home and do you shop at Dollar Tree? To today's video today I'm gonna to be walking you through all things Dollar Tree welcome to mom likely my name is Sean if this is your first time tuning in today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I am sharing with you a Dollar Tree haul but not just a haul of the things that I've got I really want to give you an overview of how I've used these Dollar Tree items in my home for like the last six months um, I found great ways to organize with them I found unexpected items to use like for planning and just items to use throughout the house as well as lots of decor pieces that unexpectedly I love and they were only one dollar so I want to share this with you guys so that you can get some inspiration on how to bring them into your home and um, yeah, just ideas of what to do with this stuff um, instead of just showing you what I got okay so first up on the list here I have this little gadget that I found uh, this is awesome if you it does come with two screws however my my daughters did take it apart already um, but it comes with the two screws and it comes as is like this and this is very multi-use I feel like you can get lots of different functions out of this I'm gonna give you some ideas right here with what to do with this as you can see right here I have a key holder this was pretty inexpensive about five or ten dollars and you can DIY this multiple ways however if you get one of these from Dollar Tree it's a similar size and you could use this as a key holder next up I want to show you how you can utilize this for accessories and if you put this into the studs in your wall this can make this extremely sturdy and you could use this one in each child's room to hang backpacks um, you could put this in your closet to hang belts and scarves as well as purses This is also a really great way to get on track for school. You could use these to hang your kids um, school outfits to be prepared in the morning and for just a dollar you could buy one of these for each kid and it could hold like their outfit, their backpack, um, you know, and whatever else accessories they need for each day. Next up on my list for organizing is this white bubble bin organizer from Dollar Tree. This is my favorite basket. I have this one all over the house. It's exceptionally great if you can find this in white and gray, even though they come in multicolors, but the more neutral, the more you can utilize them throughout the house. I love stuffing these bins with like the mini snack bags of chips and cookies and stuff during the school year for the kids or just to hide anything up high. These bins are also really great for keeping inside of your deep cabinets because you can use these to, you know, organize your Tupperware section or organize your kids' dishes or spare parts or if you have like breastfeeding equipment, anything like that. This is a really great way to hide it and organize it inside of cabinetry. And this setup I've had for two years now and I use these in my linen closet to organize everything in there. This item here from Dollar Tree is new to the household. I just got these this year about a week or two ago. And these are the stacking little bins. They are pretty mini, but they fit both in my like small door size pantry. And I also use them underneath my bathroom cabinet. If you're new to my channel, you might not have saw this yet, but I also added these under my bathroom sink here. These are a great way to organize underneath your sink and keep your cleaning supplies for your bathroom organized like this. If you like bath salts, I like to use these containers to keep it all contained in. I also put these command hooks up that I found at the Dollar Tree and these are to hold spare items. Another great item that I found there are these little craft boxes and I use these to just keep our like spare jewelry inside of down here. So you could, this is great to keep like you know your small items or your kids jewelry or if you're traveling you need a little box for them. I also found this really cool gadget I haven't got a chance to use yet but if you're always having problems with your drain um, or you something went down there this is the drain router it has these little special teeth on it and you can like wiggle it back and forth to get everything to come out and unclog your drain. So I just bought this just to keep under the sink in case we have an issue. Okay, next up are these little, um, for $1 each, little bathroom accessories that I found. This is great for renters if you don't want to spend a lot. Um, however, I just think this is really cute and I need a little update, so I picked these up. I do fill this with mouthwash and with little cups so the kids can just pump it in there instead of, you know, using the screw off top. 
Next up on my list are these little two quart containers here that I found at the Dollar Tree. And these bins right here actually come in a pack three for a dollar. So I utilize this one for spice packs so I can keep track and like a little filing system and I never have to like overbuy. And I can just stock this up with like my main go-to spices. And then I labeled all of these containers for like my dry goods that I keep on hand all the time, like those staple items. I have like tea, brown sugar, pancakes. I have a whole cabinet full of these ones right here. Another great way to utilize that little bin, those three for a dollar, you can keep them in your refrigerator like this and you can use them for like your spare condiments from restaurants. One of the last things here that I'm going to share with you is I use these little screwable containers here to store my wax cubes in. You can also use these for dish tabs, um, lots of other things. Okay, so next up I just wanted to show you an idea of the small little things you can get inexpensively to decorate your coffee bar or like your window ledge at your home. Especially like if you're renting, you just need small little things to add touches. I really, really encourage you to grab pops of color, something that you love that makes you feel great. Um, you can de you can DIY these types of signs from the Dollar Tree. However, um, I never DIY'd one before. Okay, next thing I want to share on my list is this DIY that I did from the Dollar Tree. This was probably one of the best things I ever did from there because I'm not really a DIY person, but this was super simple. So in order here, this was one, two, three, four, five dollars to make. There's five pieces and then I bought super glue. So that was a total of six dollars and I made this three tier stand for my coffee area. Now I did find this container there which I use for sugar packets. You can put whatever you want in here. If you have like a little office spot, this would be a great way to keep things out for people who visit or clients. Um, this is the only thing not from Dollar Tree. I got this one from the Target dollar spot. But they do have cute little greenery. I have this little canister from the Dollar Tree too that I keep my sugar in right up here. And then going down here, these two little pieces are from the Dollar Tree as well, as well as this little container here. It does have little rubber stoppers on the bottom so it doesn't slide around on here. And I just fill this with tea because not everybody likes coffee. Alrighty, next up is this cute little inexpensive letter board that I found from the Dollar Tree. This is what I chose to do with one of them. I just use it for videos. But I also picked up extra ones just to have extra letters. And they also had gray and black at my Dollar Tree. So these are just really cute to pop into your kids' rooms or, you know, just bring some extra flair to your space too. Or if you're a creator, then you can make yourself a little sub to me board. Now these honeycomb quote boards were definitely an unexpected find. They do have little tacks on the back so you can hang these up. These would be very easily DIY too if you don't prefer this, but these marble background and gold lettering with the cursive fits perfect into like my little office decor. So these were definitely a score for me. And then of course we have some ride or die wax melt containers right here. These are only a dollar a piece and they do have a few different styles but I really love the gray and the white ones because they can go with anything and any decor. And these are just great to have on hand. Okay, next up I found these really cute cotton stems from the Dollar Tree. They do have a few different kinds but I thought these were the cutest because it's like, feels like real cotton. And so these are going to be great for like fall DIYs or to put them in like big vases. I just got this small one to try out. This is super cute and they had these like little woven balls in there um, in like I think it was like three or four in a pack. So I just grabbed a couple packs of those and paired the different colors together. And this will be like a centerpiece or something to put on my TV. And now it's always super expensive to decorate your kitchen, especially if you want the more high-end looking pieces. But for merely $8, I decorated this whole little corner of my kitchen with a few little um, floral decor from Dollar Tree, as well as these wall decor pictures. 
inexpensive bouquet that I made it from the Dollar Tree. Now the flowers are always changing, so get in there and look around anytime you're driving by. But I just paired like two different ones, like this flowers and this leaves, in this little vase right here, and it made like the perfect little, you know, just way to glam up the area a little bit, give it that farmhouse vibe. And I found these at the Dollar Tree as well. These were only $1 each. Now these totally look like something that came from like Hobby Lobby or something like that, but I merely paid a dollar for each one. So they're really stepping it up. They have beautiful fonts. Everything's like in the really trendy colors and styles. So definitely always look through the pictures because it's a great way to really bring life to your space and your walls very inexpensively. Now we have been renovating our kitchen over the last couple years and since it's getting more on the complete side, I have been loving adding in these pops of color and jazzing up this small space with these Dollar Tree hand towels. I get new ones like every season and they're usually always vibrant and they last. Just don't clean up and mess with them, but definitely check it out. Dollar Tree also has these little calendars that are only a dollar. Um, they're very, they're not very structured, it's just a piece of paper, but it definitely works out and it has a priority list over here right there and in the back is blank if you need extra notes and stuff they have lots of stickers um, I found these ones to be extremely cute they have like little workout pets money um, lots of different flags and on the back they had the perfect ones for me because <laughs> it tells you like laundry day um, hello weekend weekend plans and then this one also has like you know shopping calling emails stuff like that so overall when to shop when to clean I just love these stickers I found these there so I grabbed a couple of packs they have these little jet binders here these are perfect for keeping track of like your coupons um, if you need to leave your babysitter different sets of notes for different kids also if you're a new mom or just have a lot of small children that need to go back and forth to the doctors or something this is a great way to keep their like birth certificates and shot records and stuff organized while you're traveling and stuff so nothing gets lost. Keep this in your purse or diaper bag. So yeah, they also had really great deals on cards. You know, most people do know they do have two for a dollar cards for like every holiday and birthdays, but they also carry little small packs of notes cards, note cards or like thank you cards too if you need to grab something for like on the quick. And like the last little supply item that I found there was this reusable dry erase pocket. This is perfect if you are teaching kids how to write or like practicing different stuff with printed sheets. This is a container that I found from Dollar Tree um, and they had like a little matching um, little serving tray to go with it so I grabbed this for food and just like little get togethers or you know just little parties with the family or whatever but it holds up really well it's not super flimsy handle and it definitely works out so check that out too they have multiple colors I also want to note too that if you do like serving trays this is plastic so this would be very easily spray painted so if you want to just um, go pick them up now while they're out this would be a great way for you to use these for DIYs over the holidays and stuff Okay, some more unexpected finds that I found at the Dollar Tree were these really cool patty paper squares. There's 100 of them in here so you can separate your hamburgers. I think this is a really great way, especially if you like freezing your food ahead of time. So that was an unexpected find. As well as they have this little hamburger patty press. So you don't even have to like make the patties, you just flatten the meat and then you can press them right out. So I think that was a really great find. Another one of my favorites from Dollar Tree now are their microfiber cloths. They come two in a pack and they have a like huge variety of colors. Cleaning products are also a really great find at the Dollar Tree. You can find um, smaller supplies of like name brand items as well as a lot of the supplies there hold up exceptionally well for just a dollar and you should definitely give them a go because if you're somebody who doesn't have lots of cleaning accessories, the Dollar Tree is the place to go start getting up your arsenal. 
The last two items I'm going to share with you guys are these little wire cabinet organizers or so be it. This one looks great to hold your serving dishes if you're doing parties or if you host a lot. I think these are really neat just to have. And next is this one right here. I've been asked a couple of times how I organize my corner cabinet and this is actually exactly how I do it. I have two of these inside of my cabinet so that you can, it allows you to set something on top and then something underneath. And this can work in many cabinets too. And I do believe they have a square option as well if you have regular standard cabinets. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you got a lot of ideas and inspiration and tips to try to utilize for your home. I'm sure there's more things that I missed, but I tried to grab as much as possible to share with you guys. And like I said, all these things have been bought recently or over the last six months. So you most likely can still find them, especially because most of those organizing items and things like that, those are like staples to Dollar Tree. So definitely go give your Dollar Tree uh, browse and you know, let me know down below something that you went and grabbed or just something that you love from the Dollar Tree. What is there that I'm missing that I need to go scope out and look for? So I appreciate you guys watching as always. Thanks for your support. If you're new here, I'd love to have you here. Please subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and hit your notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Bye.